Today's video is going to be all about millipedes, but first, I gotta find one. So here's their habitat, uh, just some uh, rotten wood and dead leaves. Oh, and a lot of grass, and oh, here's one. Alright, so I'm just gonna get this guy out. Well, that was easy. Now this is a millipede that is nicknamed the Giant White-Winged Millipede. Obviously that would be due to the conspicuous white banding on the segments here. Now, I do not like to use common names, and the reason I used one in that instance was because these, uh, like many millipedes in fact, are unclassified. They are not part of the genus, let alone a species, but they are classified in a family, uh, rather increasingly. The best known representative of that family, or arguably at least, would be the bumblebee millipede, uh, whose common name shamefully escapes me at the moment. I'll be rectifying that as soon as possible. So now let us look at the anatomy of this creature. This, of course, is the millipede's head. You can see the antennae at the front, they're just used to feel around and detect any potential food items. Now, while rather hard to see, uh, mostly due to this millipede's colour, the millipede has two compound eyes just above its antennae, and they provide a very simple form of sight, though millipedes generally do not rely on it very much. Now behind the millipede's head are many, many, many segments. Each segment bears two pairs of legs, and that is one of the main features that helps to differentiate between millipedes and centipedes. While the name millipede means a thousand feet or a thousand legs, no millipedes actually have a thousand legs. I always enjoyed watching millipedes walk. It's like a almost hypnotic kind of manner, the way your legs move in, in waves. Another aspect of their anatomy, which is practically invisible on this specimen, but you'll find it's actually very visible on their relatives, the centipedes, are breathing holes known as spiracles. Now these are a primitive method of gas exchange that were devised by the early arthropods and have remained unchanged ever since, and they were crucial for the arthropods' move onto land. Like I said, you can barely see them on this millipede. On their relatives, the centipedes, they're a lot more visible. They are, appear as a hole uh, just above the legs on some segments, not all, but some, and it is by means of the spiracles that a millipede breathes. Another thing that millipedes can do is secrete a defensive fluid, which to a human, at the very worst, causes mild irritation and discoloration, which always fades out, and usually just smells a bit. But to a smaller predator, such as a spider, acts as a very, very formidable deterrent. As such, millipedes have very few natural predators. And you've got to watch out when you're handling these guys, because they, even in spite of the fact that they have a pretty sturdy exoskeleton, they are somewhat delicate, and a fall can crack them. Naturally, that will be lethal. You may also be able to notice, if you see here, that these millipedes have mites. Now, these mites are commensal. They live on the animal, but they don't take anything from it. They merely use it as a sort of, um, as, as a sort of mobile home. Now, you do want to keep an, an eye out on the number of mites, uh, because large outbreaks, and they can occasionally happen, uh, might spell trouble for a millipede. Please excuse the god-awful pun. Now, while this is by no means a small millipede, it is not fully grown. And these can apparently reach lengths of 15 centimetres or so with reasonable regularity, and they can apparently reach lengths of about 20 centimetres, so we're talking about a fairly big millipede here. So that's it for my video showcasing the Australian giant white-winged millipede. I'd also like to add that while I have been trying to maintain weekly uploads, sometimes due to a busy schedule, I just can't make it. But if you want to see some more regular posts from me, then feel free to visit my Instagram, at Planet Scholopendra, where I post daily, or at least on an almost daily basis. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my videos.